Time. My robot's gonna thrash because. But what about dinner? It's half eleven. Ah, oh, snack time. Great. Do you find a bag of crisps? Bouncer? No. I want to start the battle of the century if that's all right. All right, listen. Jenny's looking for you. Look at the state of this room. Um, nothing to do with me. Me neither. I think I heard Nathan say something about having a change around today. Nathan. Okay, Hercules, you can do it. And it's crunch to the left. Hercules swings to the right. But it's too late. Crunch has got him. Or has he? Oh, this is something else. Hercules going into overdrive. There's no stopping him now. And it's all over for Cruncher. I wanted to talk to you both about something. Now, I know your Aunt Katrina usually has you for a couple of days each Christmas, but she's called to say that she's now thinking about having you going to stay with her full time. Yeah. Wicked. How do you feel about that banter? How do you think he feels? This is fantastic. Come on. Come on, let's go pack our stuff. Come on, help me. Come on, you didn't go fast than that. Come on. You're bigger. Hey, Snoops. Bow should be going to go and live with my Aunt Katrina. What? Great, innit? At last, freedom. Cookie Cat doesn't bother with bedtimes or sitting down to meals. She's always trying to patch up some old junk to sell on a market store. Meanwhile, we get to do what we like. Here, it's a present for you. Nathan, get your feet off there. And have you finished in the dining room, by the way? Dining room? You better get it tidied up. Hey, Mum, what did your last slave die on? Slave? What do you mean, slave? What's up, Bouncer? You know what Aunt Katrina's like. Come on. Cookie Cat's great. How many adults do you know that don't notice if you stay up all night watching War to War videos? I can't wait. Well, I can. It's bad enough one week each Christmas. Never mind forever. And remember last year when she was mending those Victorian potties and forgot to defrost the turkey? We had chicken nuggets. Okay, she, she boiled them, but... Oh. I want to stay here. I bet you wouldn't give us any manky chicken nuggets for Christmas. Um, you don't want to stay at the dumping ground for Christmas, Bouncer. It's pants. It's worse than pants. It's great big smelly long johns. My mum and me always have a wonderful time at home. It's the simple things that matter. Those little touches that make it so special. Since when have you gone home for Christmas? Well, not recently, but not ever. Anyway, Bouncer, Tracy's talking rubbish as usual. Christmas here is great. It is. Fantastic. Duke whips up the scrummiest food. The place is decorated like Santa's grotto, and we have a really big party. See? What do you have to go and say that for, do brain? Nathan, you really are very childish. Oh, lay off, Duke. Chill out for a change, will you? I was doing my first co-worker job when you were feeling nappies. Ooh, give it a rest, you two. Hey! Hey, what are you two up to? We're only playing care workers, Jenny. Oh. <gasps> Why aren't you and Nathan friends? We are friends, Dolly. Shake hands, then. Better. And you better pack your stuff. No. Come on, Bounce. I'm fed up with this place. Cross my style. Well, I like it here. I'll have a great time around cats. She can't even cook. Uh, we'll make her own microwave meals. They're impossible to mess up. I don't want to go low. You're always mucking things up for me. Well, if you feel like that, why don't you just go by yourself then? Mm, maybe I will. Well, I'm not going anywhere, am I? I mean, who's going to look after Bouncer if I'm not here? Maybe we can persuade him to go. No. Once he's made up his mind, that's it. He 
He doesn't want to miss anything here, right? Well, we have to throw the wickedest, most rip-roaring Christmas this side of the North Pole. Flow is basic psychology. We create the ultimate dumping ground Christmas experience. He'll leave you happy. Because he knows he won't be missing out on anything he hasn't already had. Exactly. And rest assured, love, organising such an event is a minor task of my superb creative skills. One slight problem, Trace. Christmas is ages away. Not well, the dumping ground it isn't. Later. Nice one. And I'm personally going to make it the best Christmas the dumping grounds ever had. granule pudding and cola butter. Ugh, gross! We're making Christmas for Bouncer before he leaves. Oh. Hang on, I've got an idea. Jenny's secret chocolate supply. Thanks, Adele. Can I help you? Oh, nice veggies. Louise told me you two aren't friends anymore. Look, Louise, they are now. <laughs> My mum bought me this. Bouncer, you don't have to go to Aunt Katrina's if you don't want to. Lol wants to go. Well, you could stay here. What about Lol? Nah, he needs me to take care of him. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Okay. So that's it then. So Jenny. Yeah. I thought about it and I can't do it. Me neither. We're ready. Forget it, Tracy. Bouncer's told Jenny he wants to stay here. No, I haven't. I've decided I'm gonna go to Aunt Katrina's with you. Okay, not for schmaltz. Get both your butts up in the attic. It's Christmas Day. Yeah. Go on. Santa's beard. Ready? Woo! Out of the way! Nathan, you taking my wellies? Oh, what would I want with your wellies? 
They were here this morning, and now they're gone. Oh, Ooh, Nathan, Jim. First you trashed my favourite jumper, and now you're accusing me of stealing. All right, enough. I think we need a quiet little word in my office. Ten minutes. I've just got to pop next door. Mr Garnet's got a problem. Something to do with missing fir trees. <laughs> What are you all doing? Tracy! Well, that's charming, isn't it? Tracy, my office now. It's not her fault, Jenny. She was doing it to help me. We were just trying to make Christmas for Bouncer so he doesn't miss anything when we go. A proper dumping ground Christmas? Peace and goodwill to all men. And women. So. What's the next game? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need cooling down. Time for some ice cream? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was such a laugh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a lovely tree, Lo. Where'd you get it? Uh, I just borrowed it. So, did you borrow it locally? <laughs> Hello, it's Katrina Plakova here, Lola and Bouncer's aunt. I've thought things through and decided maybe it's not such a good idea to take the boys. The stall's really taken off and I don't think I'm going to have time to look after them. I'm so sorry. I'll call them soon and explain. There's a message from Aunt Katrina on the answer phone. Lola Bounce can't go after all. What happened? Well, she's fine, but there was a slight accident. Well, I'd better give her a call. You are right, Bouncer. Honestly, Aunt Katrina, someone should keep an eye on her. She's changed her mind, hasn't she? So it's goodbye, Freedom. It's OK. Anyway, me and Bouncer decided we'd rather stay here. Great! So we can have Christmas again next week? Yeah! yeah. Very funny, yeah. Tracy. And Jason. So, who's been very, very good this year? Me! Don't even think of switching off. I know where you live. Hey, Tracy. Look at me. Are you trying to put me off my breakfast? Ah, but what do you see? What do you see? A dog. But now... A prize dog. I didn't realise they had dog contests. No, it's for a quiz, and I answered the winning question. What was the quiz on? How do I sleep? <laughs> It all came down to the final round. The atmosphere was electric. Then it happened. My moment of ultimate glory. And the question was... Nathan, are you completely brainless? <laughs> <laughs> what do you get when you mix colours with white? Oh, um, oh, I know this one. Don't tell me. Oh, um, oh, can I have a hint? You owe me, Nathan, because this season's colours are not sludge and puke green. OK, I messed up the threads. But listen, I've got a really great idea. We could all enter the National Youth Quiz, and I'll be no. your coach. No. How cool is that? No. Um, no. no. Oh, come on, why not? Because, Nathan, quizzes are for swaps. With sad, empty lives. No offence. <laughs> oh, come on, we need a little Stowy House team spirit round here. Yeah. Nathan, look around. This slot was sick the day they hand out brains. They set me, of course. It's just that the finals are held in London. Hey. Where are you staying in a luxury hotel? Oh, see a West End show and uh, tour a TV studio. Well, well, yeah, I'm impressed. Hmm? Thought I'd better start coaching straight away. Well, our first match is tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are you joking? We'll never be ready in time. What? Well, I sort of signed them up already, you see. Phew, 
but at least we can get on with the professional coaching now because the brains have arrived. Eh? What? Hey. I think I'll coach them in small groups. What do you reckon? Yeah. US state capitals. US states. If we were computers, we wouldn't have a problem. Well, we're not. And we have. They reckon you can get a whole encyclopedia on one single chip, you know. All walking together. That's what I call team spirit. What well, have you decided who's going to be on the team yet? All of us. Well, there's only three on each side. Three! Well, you can't be on the team. You're useless. Well, you can't be on the team because you're just uh, witless. You're brain dead. <laughs> you'll be just plain dead. Enough! There's only one way to sort this out. A vote. Yes. Everyone votes for the person they want to be in the team. You get at least one vote then. <laughs> you can't vote for yourself. I'll give you five sweets if you vote for me. I'll give you six sweets if you vote for me. This is just a present, a sort of thank you in advance. Yum! Right, now everyone's voted, well, apart from Dolly, who's feeling sick. And our captain with the most votes is Louis. So, we should be fine if we get any questions about flowers. And second, we've got Bouncer. So, it'll be fine if we've got any questions about... American football. And third is... Tracy. Yes, yes. And the winner is... Tracy Beaker. Tracy, the future brains of Britain are here. Look at their pasty skins. They've obviously been in the library for months. But the rubbish of sports questions. We're stuffed. They're gonna hammer us. We're gonna look like a bunch of dumb kids in care. Unless. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? It wouldn't be cheating exactly. So, for the 92nd time, Louise, when I cough, it's the right answer. But I don't understand. Oh, oh, How do you get the messages from Lowell? I'm more powerful oh, than phone oh, ear breathing. Oh, oh, I get it. Hooray. So, when do I cough? Oh. We're starting. Just answer the question. It's either A, B, or C, so at least you've got a one in three chance of getting it right. Yeah. Elaine's a quiz master. You need someone impartial. Someone to guarantee fair play. She's a social worker. She hasn't got a fair bone in her body. and have fun. And remember, it's not the winning that counts, it's the taking part. Yeah, right. We're gonna thrash you lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, oh. Right. We'll start with Bradley. And the first question is... Better not be. What's your name? Ah. Uh, the first question is... 
What were the very first words spoken down a telephone line? Was it A, sorry, wrong number, B, who is this, or C, come here, I need you? Yes. Okay, yeah, it's C. C. <coughs> C. Bring me back on my mobile. Just kidding. Come here, I need ya. Correct. Yes! Yeah. Eamon, your first question. Is the land that connects North and South America divided by the Panama Canal A, a peninsula, B, a causeway, or C, an 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 Yeah! Go to go! <laughs> the answer's C. Isthmus. Correct! Yay! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! It's incredible. Hmm. Inexplicable. Almost unbelievable. Oh, I'll give them credit, Jenny. They've been trying really hard. But they got every single question right. Both teams? So they're a clever set of kids. They're sneaks. Cheats. Just like us. Yeah, and your point is? It's better to lose fair and square than win by cheating. <laughs> Where did you get this rubbish? Search me. So, I've confiscated the other team's phones. Johnny! You're a genius. <laughs> and I've confiscated Amber's phones too. Was it A, B, or C? Uh, um, C, a giant whale? No, Mary did not ride into Bethlehem sitting on the back of a giant whale. A? Or an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> and the results of the second round are three or... Plan B, then. What's that? We aren't like a bunch of dumb kids in care. Lucky I've come up with something then. Keep watch. So that's two out of three of your questions answered correctly in this yes. final and deciding round. And the first question to Stoey House is for Bradley again. Hmm? Oh, yeah. The war between the Greek city-states and the Persian Empire was in many ways like a game of American football. In American football, how many yards do you need for a first down? A, one yard, B, ten yards, or C, one hundred yards? Easy, ten. Um, B. Correct! Yeah! <laughs> Bradley, uh, now, Louise, geography. In the foothills of the Himalayan mountains, what flower would you be most likely to find? A, orchid, B, rhododendron, or C, self-raising? Oh, B, because they come from there. They need a good sandy soil, you see. Well, except for the dwarf ones. They like it a bit Yes, prettier. thank you, B is correct. Yeah! Yeah! would be the winning question, if you got it right. What Christian name has the various meanings of a warrior, eloquent, and brave? Is it A, Charlotte? B, Catherine? Or C? That would be C, Tracy. Correct. Yeah! Congratulate you on being, if not better than the opposition, at least more cunning. Yeah! So, my 
going to the next match then? Not for a while. I called the uh, organisers and asked them to disqualify both teams. What? Why? Anybody have a problem with that? Yeah! yeah. yeah. I was yeah. Not yeah. Not yeah. It was a ask you this. Who in the Bible was the father of King Solomon and what was this doing behind the goldfish tank? <laughs> um, B is a very clever goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid this quiz is over. Oh well, when you're as gorgeous as me, it's best not to let on about being incredibly clever as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.